live in a small LA apartment with a tiny yet wonderful kitchen. It's where you'll find me most days doing one of my favorite things. But yeah, bacon. My name is Rachel. I love organic produce. I love to cook and I love to eat. Welcome to a cooking show with Rachel O. This week's food. Hi. Let's see what's in this week's Abundant Harvest Organics box. Dun, 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 dun. Lots of spinach, mint, lettuce, pears, pears, sweet potatoes, broccoli. That wasn't on my list. Yay! Broccoli. Double yay. Rutabaga. Lemons. I wasn't expecting these either. Yes. Potatoes. Oh, there's even more broccoli in here. Oh. Cauliflower, arugula, oranges. I'm singing a lot today. Kabocha squash, carrots, daikon radish. Look it, isn't this awesome? I'm gonna get started on my mashed potato soup. For this soup, you will need milk, cheddar cheese, parmesan cheese, nutmeg, chili powder, smoked paprika, ginger, olive oil, salt and pepper, apples, <laughs> ap <laughs> apple cider vinegar, mashed potatoes, stock, chicken, turkey, or vegetable, or even beef, spinach, onion, carrot, turnip, radish, sweet potato, garlic, thyme, and oregano. I don't know what else to say. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop up my veggies. We're gonna blend this soup up so it doesn't really matter what size the chunks are that you cut it into. So just a rough chop is good. I'm gonna chop up my spinach and my herbs. Just a rough chop. Time. My oregano from Elizabeth. Cut! Gonna grate my cheese. A little bit of Parmesan. You can do a lot or you can do a little. It's up to you, it depends on what you like cheese. Let's cook up our soup. We're gonna add some Bari Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil to our hot pan, about two tablespoons. Once that gets hot, we're going to add our veggies. I'm going to put a lid on and let the veggies steam a little bit as they cook. Don't forget to stir them occasionally. Once they start to get soft, we will add our garlic. Also time for the seasonings. Now I'm going to add some vinegar, or you could use white wine, to deglaze the pan, about a quarter cup. Scrape off all those good bits on the bottom there. Time for the potatoes, the milk, and the stock. Bring it to a boil. Now that it's come up to a boil, I'm going to add my spinach and my herbs. Now I'm going to turn it down to a simmer. I'll let it cook for five to ten more minutes. Make sure you taste it to see if it needs any more seasoning. I'm going to turn off the heat. I'm using my KitchenAid immersion blender. Being very careful, I'm going to puree this. You could also do this in a regular blender, but make sure that you take the middle part out of the top. The steam will make it fall in and then it will get blended up and that's not good. Whoa. <laughs> it's okay if it's not perfectly smooth. Last but not least, I'm going to add a little bit more vinegar and my cheese. And you're ready to eat. I'm serving this up along with some crostinis that have some extra virgin olive oil drizzled on them with some pear and some gruyere cheese. Thanks for watching this week's feast. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays! See you next year! For this recipe and more, click on the link on the YouTube page and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, to like Do My Cuisine on Facebook, and to add my blog to your Google Reader!